Good morning and welcome to the Household of Faith Daily Devotional Videos. Uh, this week we're going to be discussing the spiritual gifts and we're going to be covering this for mm, at least the next three weeks because there are a lot of gifts and uh, we want to make sure that we cover them thoroughly, okay? And the spiritual gifts are, or gifts of the Spirit, are listed in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. The entire chapter is really devoted to it, but Paul starts out, and I'm going to be reading from the New Living Translation. It says that, Now, dear brothers and sisters, regarding your question about the special abilities the Spirit gives to us, I don't want you to misunderstand this. And then he goes on to talk about what happened before, you know, they were converted. It says, you know that when you were still pagans, you were led astray and swept along in worshiping speechless idols. So I want you to know that no one speaking by the Spirit of God will curse Jesus and no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Verse 4, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit is the source of them all. There are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. God works in different ways, but it is the same God who does the work in all of us. A spiritual gift is given to each of us so that we can help each other. Let me stop right there. After making it clear, Paul tells us that the gifts are for us to help each other. It's not for ourselves, it's not for us to make a name for ourselves, but it is for us to help one another. Everything that the Lord has given us as far as the body of Christ is for the body of Christ. It's for all of us to work together. It's not for, you know, someone to stand out from the other ones, but all of the gifts work together for each one of us for the benefit of all, not just for the individual, okay? We just want to make that clear. Now, we're not going to go over a lot of, um, we're going to take each day and we're going to talk about each gift. And the first gift that is listed, listed, it says, to one person, the Spirit gives the ability to give wise advice. Now, that's where we're going to stop, right there on that one. Because let me tell you something. If you are not capable of giving wise advice to people, then what kind of advice are you giving? Now, the, there are different translations that say Spirit of Wisdom. and but for some people who don't have that particular gift operating in their life, you can still ask God because the word says if any man lacks wisdom, he should ask of God and God will give it to him without measure. And because God wants us to ask him for help in any given situation to improve our circumstances or change our own personal circumstances and then also to um, affect the circumstances of someone else. Now, the spirit of wisdom is something that you get after you've been born again, after you've been spirit filled, because it is a gift of the spirit. It's not a fruit of the spirit. Those are different. It is a gift of the spirit. And we really want to understand that and and make that distinction clearly. Now, what happens is that this is, I'm going to just give you um, a synopsis of it, okay? When you encounter someone, um, however you come to be in contact with this person, and they present a problem to you that they're having, they're having some type of an issue that they really need to. Um, work out, they need to make a decision. You meet people who have all these kinds of things going on in their lives and the spirit of wisdom will provide you with the information that they need to fix, to work out, to plan, whatever it is that they need, their situation, their circumstances. And I know I've said this before, but my pastor, Pastor Floyd Scott, of course, the Faith Framing Ministry, he defines wisdom as the ability to regulate circumstances. And the spiritual gift of wisdom 
is no different. The definition of wisdom does not change, you know, and all wisdom comes from God, true wisdom. Manly wisdom changes from place to place, from state to state, or from, you know, concept to concept. But godly wisdom remains constant. That's when he gave Solomon. And the ability that he gave him, this is what you can expect. If you look at Solomon's life, you look at the wisdom that he showed, that's the greatest example in history of wisdom. Okay? So... Thank you so much for joining us, and we're going to be uh, back with you tomorrow, and we're going to be talking about the next gift, all right, which is the um, word of knowledge. Now, the uh, New Living Translation actually says, uh, Spirit gives a message of special knowledge, all right? So we're going to see you tomorrow, and we're going to be talking about that gift. Have a great day.